All right, I was due for another video on the status of the wooden Prusa i3 build. Um, so I've acquired some more parts through the mail. Um, and I've got in and I've taken some time to install those and I figured I'd give you an update as to where I'm at. I think I call this the uh, spaghetti stage because at this moment uh, there are at least uh, tens of cables draped all over this thing. Ugh. My uh, ramps and Adreno Omega clone came in. So that's what you see there mounted on the side. Um, printed out a Wade or Greg's or I think it's Wade extruder. Got that mounted up and mounted to the uh, the X carriage. Got a little fan mounted there because eventually once I get a hot end I'll need to cool it. Um, let's see what else, what else? Motors are installed, cables are ran. I actually spent the majority this morning extending the cables because when you get them they come with a plug and they're only that long. So I had to extend them. I kept with the same color scheme just to try to make things easy in my head. However, I did not have the same gauge wire that went to the stepper motors, so I ended up doubling up some smaller gauge. Um, this is twisted or stranded um, copper wire, which is good. You wouldn't want to use a solid copper wire on something that's moving because it has a tendency to break. So that was stranded, and I used two wires of the thinner stuff for every one of the thicker gauge wires that originally went to the stepper motor. Um, this is actually a telephone cord. So, I'm not even sure what gauge that is, but I think everything's going to work out fine there. Um, my pulleys and my um, GT2 belts came in from China a few days earlier. So now, um, belts and pulleys are all activated in a sense. Uh, the biggest holdup actually was <laughs> those uh, linear bearings from um, the Philippines. Those took a while to get here. Um, but they did finally arrive, at least one set that I ordered. Um, and I, trying, I tried them with the linear rods, the 5 16 linear rods. Now I said that there was always some concern that there might be too much slop. Um, at this particular moment, I, I think we're in okay shape. Um, there's really not a lot of wiggle. So I'm not too concerned at this point. Uh, I might change my mind or I might just end up seeing that the quality of the print at the end of actually printing something on this is affected by that, but just a visual inspection, not the case. Um, <laughs> I think that's about it. I know this is a short video. Um, oh, uh, two things um, that I might want to share with you, and I've shared them on a different video, but... Um, the, the Y end stop holder that I am fond of, that I'm incorporating on this, this wooden build as well as um, the Folger Tech build that I already did. Um, I think you can see that. Yeah, it has this little um, kind of clip on mount with a couple of different mounting holes. Uh, the end stop, like that, you can find on Thingiverse, number 480635. It's a good one. It hits right on the edge of the uh, the build plate, and uh, you still get your maximum build area without having to have to have a, a screw and things for fine tuning. It's just pretty perfect. Um, let's see what else. What else? Oh, uh, I got my stepper motors off eBay. I told you that, and I got them for thirty-five bucks plus ten dollars shipping from California. Uh, somebody was asking what the uh, seller's name was, so they could look it up. So. I will share that with you. Uh, the seller's name, if you want to look it up, is Tony Twenty Twenty Five Eleven. So it's Tony Two Zero Two Five One One, and it's got some pretty good feedback. So um, if you're interested in going and buying your stepper motors off eBay, he would be a source to check out. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's about it at this point. Um, still waiting on my power supply, so I can't fire this thing up yet, but um, I may program my uh, Adreno Mega anyway since it takes the power off the USB port. Um, so that might be my next step is starting to play on the software. I'm just going to pull the software directly off, or the software I've already got from my Folgitech build. 
uh, and dump that onto this um, Adreno Mega. I, I will use at the moment. <laughs> I won't be using the uh, auto leveling feature that I have enabled on the Folger Tech. Um, eventually, that might come, but it'll be a different uh, mounting apparatus for this one since I'm using that weight extruder instead of a direct drive. Um, things the things have changed. <laughs> It's a t totally different type of extruder, so I'll, I'll have to get creative with that. But um, that's where I'm at right now. I hope you guys are enjoying this build. Um, I hope to wrap this up well, probably in the next couple weeks um, and then move on to a CNC router build. So, uh, I'll say no more. Signing off for now.